Counting the homeless in Clark County this morning, volunteers and county officials conducted surveys with homeless people in our community. Candace Charles shows us the process and explains how it's meant to help. It's a count that could translate to millions for those who count. Our unhoused community members and nearly 200 volunteers showed up to the North Las Vegas City Hall Thursday morning ready to help. It's 5 a.m. Fueled and informed, these volunteers are preparing for a busy morning. Their task, to count the unhoused on the streets of Southern Nevada. So I decided to come do my part and get those numbers for the government so we can get that assistance and the funds for the community. Volunteers were dispersed to several locations across Clark County, including here, where we found volunteer Martin Castro handing out goodie bags to on Owen in Maine. No, a little incentive. Counting and conducting short surveys of willing, unsheltered people. It was not hard to see the need. Clark County Commissioner Justin Jones tells me the annual homelessness census is a qualifying requirement for more than 15 million a year in grant money to help organizations provide homeless services and programs. Uh, and it's really important not only to just uh, give an assessment of where we are in terms of uh, addressing homelessness, uh, but really it goes into the millions of dollars in federal funding that we get in order to address homelessness. The 2022 homeless census found more than 5,500 people living in shelters are on the streets. There's been a concern that number may be greater this year. Frantically trying to you know, address those issues and help folks as, as quickly as possible to either uh, stave off that, that housing crisis or end their homelessness as quickly as possible. If you'd like to donate or volunteer, Clark County recommends reaching out to the Nevada Homeless Alliance. We'll have details on our website, 8newsnow.com. For now in the newsroom, I'm Candace Charles, 8 News Now.